Well, ladies and gentlemen, it is a known fact that local translators are trying to ruin the stories that are coming out of Japan when the manga gets translated into English. This is a problem that we've been having for quite a long time now, where different manga is being affected by this. But the funny thing is now, apparently, these companies are deciding to use AI to translate their content in order to avoid the absolute ridiculous politically correct mistranslations that happen all the time because these manga land in the hands of white liberal women they want to change what the stories are because the stories are deemed problematic and then they have the balls to say well i'm putting my take on it not the actual take of the person who wrote the story no 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 it's my take because i'm a narcissist and i need people to see my worldview this is the problem that we're having with these translations and it's a problem that's going to continue until eventually AI replaces all these people, which is why people like Mags Visaggio, they are going to be out of a job eventually because AI is coming for them. Bad writers and bad translators in this scenario are going to be replaced by AI because they do such a terrible job that a computer can literally do it better and for free. So let's get into this article, guys, from Fandom Pulse. But of course, before we do, if you are new here, just consider hitting that subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate it and like the video to put Push us out into the YouTube algorithm. So it says, in a dedicated effort to accelerate, automate, and make the translation of manga from its original Japanese language into other languages more cost effective, a visionary Japanese startup, Orange, is integrating artificial intelligence to simplify the more intricate aspects of distribution and localization. This emerging trend is breaking down barriers and making manga and anime more accessible to a global audience. However, as we move forward, translator and localizers are taking to social media to voice their concerns concerns about potential job displacement. Now, you shouldn't be worried about your job if you were doing the right thing, right? The only people who are worried about their job are the ones who were not doing the right thing, are the ones who are obviously doing stupid shit like this, where you have this character Rin saying, shut up, incel. Guarantee you that's not what was said in the Japanese version, but this is what happens when people get their hands on it who are not from the actual original source. So you're going to have these issues pop up, and these people should be scared. They rightfully absolutely should be scared of losing their job because they suck at it they do a terrible job and in almost every other industry out there if you suck in your job you no longer have that job so this job should be no different it says founded in 2021 orange has gained prominence in japan for its ground baking manga ai localization securing 1.8 million from individual investors shoko ugaki the creator of ceo and R of orange envisions a future where people worldwide can read every japanese masterpiece manga in their native languages stating in 10 years i would like to realize a world where people all over the world can read every japanese masterpiece manga in their native languages now i think this is going to be great ladies and gentlemen because listen japanese manga is absolutely destroying anything and everything that is coming out of the united states right now regarding like you know comic books uh graphic novels whatever the case may be japanese manga is 100 percent king and a lot of bookstores in the states are starting to realize that they're starting to expand their manga sections to the point where it's basically uh dwarfing anything that's american related right so a lot of people are saying well you know we should try to keep things american we should we should focus on american production that's all fine and dandy a lot of people will be fine with that and support that the issue is that the people who are making the products right now the people who are making the comic books who are making the graphic novels who are telling the stories they're too busy talking about identity politics that they, they can't even entertain anybody like that like entertainment is not even top of their priority that's not the case look at mags visaggio i keep bringing that idiot up because that's the truth mags visaggio is a prime example of what happens when you want to take identity politics and make that the focal point of your entire existence when you want to make every single story that mags visaggio has written or put out there has been some sort of trans allegory every single one of them almost it's it's literally ridiculous that this person cannot write anything other than something that's based in their own identity politics it's insane and this is why manga is destroying the American comic book industry and graphic novel industry because they are focused on just putting out a good story. And the crazy thing about manga is like if it doesn't hit, right, if it doesn't take off, they just create something new. They, cre they create something totally new if it doesn't hit off until eventually something hits off because they're good about putting out ideas. They're good about taking risk and just trying to entertain the fans. That's what they're trying to do. It says, while it's currently feasible to employ localizers, translators, and letter writers to translate manga, provided there is sufficient financial support and customer interest, Orange's manga AI localization 
Republican claims to offer a faster and more cost-effective alternative. The company emphasizes that guaranteed translation quality assurance is overseen by a human professional who double-checks the AI's output. Orange believes that AI localization can translate manga into other languages much more quickly and inexpensively, making it an attractive option for companies aiming to reach a larger audience with reduced costs. This approach aligns with the rapid dissemination of Japanese media globally, starting with anime simulcasts and followed by simulpubs and simuldubs of manga. All of this is coming to a head as of a few days ago. The AI translation of the ancient Magus Bride manga was released with social media exploding with responses to how the world would take in the inevitable future of AI replacing localizers. So you have a tweet here from Packer Girl. It says, you mean the ancient Magus Bride manga fans who actually are reading the accurate AI hybrid translations? Yeah, we're happy. That's great. That's what we need. We don't need this bullshit freaking virtue signaling that comes from American localizers. We don't need that. Get your politics out of this shit. Just translate the content the way it's meant to be translated and tell me the original story that the Japanese thought up, but in English. That's all people want when reading manga in English. But unfortunately, we have to go through these absolute psychopaths that want to change everything. It says this development raises two primary concerns, the potential for lower translation quality and the gradual replacement of human translators. Advocates of AI argue that additional data can enhance its intelligence and improve task performance. However, skeptics question the need for translators to be replaced, advocating for hiring individuals who invest time and effort to ensure accurate, nuanced, and culturally sensitive translations. See, this is the problem right here. Culturally sensitive translations. Who gets to decide what's culturally sensitive or not? Why do you get to decide what is deemed sensitive to me? You really shouldn't. Translate the fucking book the way it is and let people read it. And if they're offended by it, then guess what? They won't read anymore. They won't pick up the next volume. They'll actually probably sell the book and move on with their lives. But the problem is you want to play mommy and daddy so bad. You want to have the power over virtue so bad that you're willing to risk your job over translating something incorrectly because your identity politics tell you that that's the most important thing to do. It says, unfortunately, localization of anime and video games has been terribly subpar over the last 10 years. The terrible translations ramp it with non-understood phrases and cliches. Furthermore, it frequently happens that American localizers have changed lines or added political elements that weren't in the original Japanese for the sole purpose of being funny or advocating a cultural agenda. Gender-specific terms have been completely removed from localizations in more recent times, mostly in remakes of older games. Japanese studios have also started implementing these adjustments to make up for how Americans interpret their media. These modifications are undoubtedly due to the rise of Western influenced feminism, which labels criticism of female characters as offensive and eliminates any criticism of them. Below are a few examples, and eight years worth of complication can be found at Niche Gamer. Now, I'm not going to go over the examples. If you guys want to go check out this article here over at Phantom Pulse, there is a ton of examples out there. I am sure you can go and find them pretty much easily, but still, it, it really is just freaking sad to see what's happening. And you know, what i'm glad that they're gonna potentially lose their job to ai they should they should lose their job to ai if you're going to literally do this and lie about what they're saying in the books when you translate them you don't deserve the job in the first place anyway guys thank you so much for watching this video i hope you did enjoy it and if you did consider leaving me a subscribe i would greatly appreciate it don't forget to like the video comment let me know what you thought and i'll see you guys on the next one hypnotic out